Hello everyone, welcome to my art channel where we do painting tutorials. I want to share with you today my easy beginner friendly watercolor layering technique. I've seen our artists use a palette technique where they add the color in like five different wells, they dilute various degrees and use that to paint, but I don't really think that is all that beginner friendly, so I thought I'd just share my technique what I do and here I have some very basic Canson Excel mixed media paper. I want to keep this as beginner friendly as possible so I won't be using a box sort of watercolor paper and that kind of stuff. I've just taped down this into three areas because I'll be doing three paintings with three different colors and I separate the different areas with clear office tape. Feel free to use washi tape instead, I just want something skinny. What I do is basically I take my brush, I dip it in water, I tap it once, just once onto my color, apply it on the top and then dilute just with water. I do not go back to my paint, I do not touch the paint, I only do it once for the background. And I'm going to repeat this for all of my colors. I'm going to thoroughly clean my brush, tap it on the napkin or kitchen paper or toilet paper to make sure it is clean and then I move on to my next color. I tap it once into the health pan, apply it on the top and then just dilute it down with water. This does create a very subtle gradient meaning the top is slightly darker from the bottom of each area but that is not a problem and it's actually going to work to our favor once we start layering. You'll see what I mean in just a bit. And I do the same exact thing for the very bottom section as well. The colors I'm using by the way are cadmium orange hue by Winter Noon Kaltman, a very popular student grade watercolor paint and my permanent blue, violet and thalo green are by Van Gogh, which again are soon green paints. Now for my first mountain that I'll be doing with the orange, I dip my brush once into the orange, I paint the mountain edge and then I dilute it again downwards with water. Since the background, the sky, we dilute it down, it is much lighter than the paint itself. So when I tap into the orange or the violet or the thalo green and apply it onto the background, it will still be visible because the background is much more diluted, aka is much more pale than the actual paint. So I paint a mountain in the middle of each one of my little bookmark shapes. I just draw the edge and then I pull it all downwards with just a wet brush. I'm using a number 6 brush here which is not too big and not too small and the reason I chose this brush right here is it does not hold a lot of water. It's also synthetic, it's by Da Vinci. And since it does not hold a lot of water, it gives you more saturated colors because the less you dilute water colors with water, the more vibrant they end up being. And if you use a very fluffy brush like a kilt brush, you will get more dilute and pale or results. Now for my second mountains, I tap twice into each half pan. So I tap into my orange, I paint another mountain on top of the previous one, I tap once more and then bring all of that down. Two taps means more paint so I go over the previous layers and you won't be able to see them. Workers are typically transparent but by layering and adding a bit more color there, a bit more paint, they go one on top of the other very nicely. As you can see here, the key point here for this painting tutorial, if you've chosen to paint along with me, is every time you switch from one color to the other and you do not have to use the same exact paint as me, the same exact tones and shades, just pick whichever one is your favorite. You can do pink, you can do green, you can do whatever your heart desires. But the key point is if you're doing multiple like I am right here, make sure your brush is 100% clean when you switch from colors. You're gonna thank me later about that one. Now for the third and final layer, well actually fourth, it's the third mountain, but the fourth layer, we only use the paint from the half pans. We don't dilute this with water. I just take my clean brush, tap into the half pan, 
I paint my final melting shape and then I just fill it in with more paint. And since we've been using the watercolors for a while now, they have been activated for a lot meaning they are back to their creamy state if you've ever squeezed out watercolors from a tube you know they are creamy and when you leave half pants with water for a while they go back to that creamy state which makes them even more saturated so right now i'm just using whatever i have from my tents i'm not diluting this i just paint my final layer on top of all of the previous ones again cleaning cleaning my brush in between layers if drawing is not your thing i just want to mention there will be a traceable just the drawings of the mountain shapes available over at my patreon page sunshine arts where we also do full-time step-by-step paint along with me kind of videos and i also upload digital downloads of my paintings and like always all of the supplies will be linked down in the description box below this video in case you want to check any of that out and with that we have actually finished this very simple watercolor layering practice piece well actually three pieces and if you have made it this long to my painting i'm going to give you a little bonus tip in case some of your paint leaks under your tape or you get a little splatter in a place where it shouldn't be you can actually erase that whenever i have that i just pick up an eraser pencil which is an eraser within the body of a pencil and erase whatever mistake i have so i just wanted to share that little piece of information with you there Lastly, I just slowly peel off the tape and that is it. I'd like to give a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters for the month of January and thank you all for watching. If you found any value in this video, please let me know down in the comments and we'll see each other in the next one. Bye bye!